Let's balance the equation Mg plus P4 gives us Mg3P2. We have magnesium plus tetraphosphorus, and this is magnesium phosphide. So first thing, we count the atoms up, then we balance the equation. One magnesium, four of these phosphorus atoms, three magnesium on the product side, and two phosphorus atoms. It's probably a good idea to leave the magnesium until last, because it's all by itself, so that's pretty easy to fix. For phosphorus, we could put a 2 in front of the Mg3P2. 2 times 2, that'll give us 4. So we've balanced the phosphorus atoms. 3 times 2, that'll give us 6 magnesium atoms. But all we have to do is put a 6 here. 1 times 6, that gives us 6. And we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Mg plus P4 yields Mg3P2. Magnesium plus tetraphosphorus gives us this magnesium phosphide. Thanks for watching.